An Indonesian man jailed for his role in the deadly 2002 Bali bombings could be released on parole in the coming days after his sentence was reduced, a law official said on Friday. Omar Patek was found guilty of mixing the bombs that ripped through two Bali nightclubs, killing 202 people. A member of the Al-Qaeda-linked militant group Jamaa Islamiyah, he was sentenced to 20 years in jail by an Indonesian court in 2012. 88 Australians were among the dead. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese said his government will make diplomatic contact with Indonesia over the case. Uh, I know people who, who lost uh, loved ones uh, in, in Bali at that time. I came to know them uh, 20 years ago. Uh, I knew uh, many of the people were from Dulwich Hill, not far from where I lived. They were my, they were my neighbours and uh, the impact has been devastating on them. So uh, my message is that all Australian sympathies are with you at this difficult time and certainly not with uh, this uh, terrorist who engaged in this abhorrent action. The head of the Law and Human Rights Office in East Java, where Patek is jailed, told Reuters the bomber was eligible for parole this month because he'd served two thirds of his sentence after a series of reductions. The matter has been passed to the central government for approval, said Zeroji, who goes by one name. The Justice and Human Rights Ministry did not respond to a request for comment. Patek had been on the run for nine years and had a $1 million bounty on his head when he was arrested in Abbottabad, Pakistan, in 2011. Osama bin Laden was killed in the town several months later.